Have you thought about moving to Tennessee and just don't know which part of the state is going to best fit your needs? Then stick around as we talk about another one of Northeast Tennessee's small towns, Elizabethan. You'll find Elizabethan in the foothills of the Appalachians in Carter County, Tennessee. This town kind of serves as a gateway to the North Carolina mountains for many of us in the area. The city is rich in history, features a quaint downtown, and is just 25 minutes or so from Bristol and about 20 minutes from Johnson City, which are two of the Tri-Cities which make up a large part of Northeast Tennessee. Those of you that watch our videos know that Kim and I were born in Bristol and we've called a home for a very long time. However, when we think about home, we also think about the entire Tri-Cities area. You can get from one town to the next in roughly 20 or 30 minutes, so it's no big deal to drive from one to the other. If we want to get to Crumble Cookies, we drive to Johnson City. For our favorite Mexican food, we jump the car and head to Bristol, Virginia. Some of our favorite seafood can be found in Elizabethan. So each city has its own personality, but as a whole, we feel like one big family in Northeast Tennessee. And we've done a few videos about Bristol, Kingsport, and Johnson City, so you know how much we love Northeast Tennessee, and in particular Bristol, since that's our hometown. But the truth is, I'll be perfectly happy living in any of the small towns in the area. The people are friendly and welcoming, and each town has its own benefits and personalities. So today, we're talking about Elizabeth. Let's quickly go over some background. Then we'll get into what the city has to offer and why you might want to live there. Elizabethton was settled way back in 1769 and is the site of the first American government, created in 1772. Daniel Boone, in fact, played a part in settling the area, which was inhabited by the Cherokee Indians at the time. The city's population is around 14,000. However, half a million people live in the entire metro area, which includes Bristol, Johnson City, and Kingsport. It's a smaller town for sure, but that doesn't mean you won't find what you need within a short drive. The entire area has a lot to offer and gives you a lot of living options. If you're worried about getting to the bigger cities, you'll find the local Tri-Cities Airport a breeze to use. It has direct flights to the major hubs of Atlanta and Charlotte, so you can still get anywhere, but security lines are almost non-existent. Elizabethan has its own municipal airport for private use as well. If you can't find what you need in one town, you'll probably find it in the next. Elizabethan is home to Milligan University, a Christian liberal arts school, plus it has a local campus center for East Tennessee State University and a satellite campus for Northeast State Community College. Elizabethan is about an hour away from both Boone and Banner Elk, North Carolina, where you'll find a couple of ski resorts in case you enjoy winter sports. State and national forests are never far away as they surround the town. The area is only five and a half hours from the Carolina coast, six hours from the nation's capital, four hours from Nashville, and about an hour and a half from the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. So what makes Elizabeth in a good place to live? I'd say that a combination of natural beauty, the small town feel, and the ability to get outside and enjoy the outdoors have to top the list. Nearly everywhere you look, you'll see either mountains, water, or a combination of both. Since the town is located at the base of the Blue Ridge Mountains, you're never far from outdoor activities. Just on the outskirts of town, you'll find Watauga Lake, said to be the third cleanest lake in the U.S. You'll find public boat landings and marinas, but more than half of the lake shoreline lies in the Cherokee National Forest, so it can't be developed making this an ideal spot for fishing, boating, kayak, and just relaxing. TVA controls the lake's level and sends water downstream to the Watauga River, which flows through Elizabethan. Here you'll find opportunities for whitewater rafting, fly fishing, and kayaking. Another river flowing into Elizabethan is the Doe River, which joins the Watauga just north of town. Connecting the east and west parts of downtown which are separated by the Doe River, is the Elizabethan Covered Bridge. It's a local favorite. It was built in 1882, and the area surrounding it serves as a park, picnic, festival, and a live entertainment venue. During the summer, you can enjoy live music during Covered Bridge jams on Saturday nights, and the Covered Bridge Days Festival usually takes place in September, 
with live music, arts and crafts vendors, and more. If you'd like to walk or bike, you might want to jump on the Twixie Trail, a 10 minute rails to trails project that starts near the covered bridge and runs all the way to Johnson City. Do you like to hike? Then you'll love this area. There are several places where you can access the Appalachian Trail in Carter County. If you like waterfalls, hike to Laurel Falls or Blue Hill Falls at the base of Holston Mountain. Just a short drive from Elizabeth and you'll find beautiful Roan Mountain, Tennessee. The Roan Mountain State Park is a great place to visit, whether for a quick day trip to do some hiking or for camping. They have 30 rental cabins, a campground with RV sites, pavilions, and more. Hiking Roan Mountain's famous balds offers some pretty spectacular views and has a peak elevation over 5,500 feet. And did you know that the world's largest rhododendron garden is in the area? They usually bloom in June and are spectacular. Much of downtown Elizabethan is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. A walk downtown, in particular close to the Doe River, turns up historical markers at every turn. You'll see grand historic homes near the river, then antique malls, coffee shops, gift shops, restaurants, and more. The downtown area is very walkable and makes for a great day out. The oldest building in the state is just up the street. The Carter Mansion, built around 1780, is the oldest frame house in the state. You can get a tour of the home, plus they hold special events there throughout the year. Sycamore Shoals State Historic Park is the site of annual battle reenactments, and Fort Watauga is a good spot to visit also. The city seems to be family friendly, has plenty of outdoor opportunities for enjoying the scenery, and is close to the larger towns. What else would attract someone to Elizabethan? How about the cost of living? Elizabethan's cost of living is 16% lower than the national average. This comes from the lack of state income tax, low property taxes, very reasonable home and rental prices, along with other lower costs such as insurance, healthcare, etc. The median home price in Elizabethan, as of recording this video, is just over $203,000. Keeping more of your money is one of the benefits of living in Tennessee, and Elizabethan gives you lots of bang for your buck. Also, Elizabethan has most things you need without having to leave town. You'll find Lowe's, a Walmart supercenter, of course, plenty of franchise resta uh, restaurants like Applebee's and Chick-fil-A, a lot of locally owned restaurants like the Mayflower some, for some pretty terrific seafood, Red Chili for authentic Korean food, Jiggy Ray's downtown for pizza, as well as the Riverside Tap House if you're looking for craft beer. When I think about Elizabeth and why I might want to live there, I think about how it gives you that rural, truly mountain town feel, but it's close enough to the bigger towns so that you don't feel like you can't find whatever you need. There really are a lot of things to see and do. Beautiful scenery is all around. A quick day trip to the mountains in Boone, North Carolina is just an hour away while you can be in Roan Mountain in just 20 minutes. Water sports, plenty of options. Is snow skiing your thing? Then Sugar Mountain to Beach Mountain are about an hour away also. If you'd like to know more about Elizabethan or just our part of Northeast Tennessee in general, please reach out to us. Kim and I specialize in helping people relocate to our area and would love to help you decide if Northeast Tennessee would be a good fit for you. Look in the description below for a link where you can get a copy of a relocation guide. This is Scott Henniger with the Home Team, brokered by EXP Realty, where we're exceeding expectations, whether it's your first home or your last.